Hi guys, the name's Oscar, Oscar Q, and I'm doing a little commentary for this video, which I haven't done in a long time, because, you know, school and doing other stuff, but I'm going to do it for this one, because this was a really interesting game, and holy shit, it was, it was intense, it was very close. Now, um, the game just started, uh, I, oh, I went to the earliest of the footages I could get to. But because the game lasted that long, I couldn't quite get to the super beginning. But yeah, I just started working on this generator. Things are just starting out. And I'm just trying to get this generator done. And I'm up against The Shape, aka Michael Myers. He is the killer. And at this point, I'm under the assumption that he is chasing someone. Yep, yeah. That person's down. And Homie Dog... Someone else finished the generator over there. I'm about to finish this one. And the killer is in the process of hanging the downed teammate. So I'm just trying to finish this thing before his attention gets freed. And bam, there he's hung. So now I'm going to finish this and get the hell out because he's going to come out in my, my direction. I have a perk that shows him for a couple seconds every time I finish a generator. So I'm predicting what he's going to do, and I'm going to try and backtrack him here. Because if I just... But yeah, yeah, it didn't really go to plan. I'm trying to get away with it, but... Yeah, he just gets lucky, and he keeps looking back just at the right time. Anyone hits me. He's unbelievably fast. And yeah, you can hear me complaining a little bit. Because these killers are just so overpowered to me sometimes. It sucks ass, but yeah. I'm trying to wiggle out, and I see that he's trying to bring me down there with the other guy, which is a mistake. <laughs> so funny hearing myself talk, you just fucked up, son, I'm getting away. <laughs> For how long, though, Oscar? See, I'm trying to haul ass. Honestly, yes, I did use this person as bait, because, I mean, what other chance do I have? And now he's trying to go get that chick. I'm trying to crawl away into a bush, so maybe I have a chance of getting healed with him not being able to find me, but no, this guy's just too fast. So he's got me. My teammate's there healing up. Also, probably hoping to try to free me once I'm hung. And someone else is finishing up their generators. Things are going kind of well, but we just lost a teammate down there. No one ever saved that dude. So he's out of the match. So we're down to three people. And this person's injured and being chased, and now they're downed. So that's just lovely. And I'm being freed! And again, I'm hauling ass. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I am petrified of the shape as a killer. Like, he's just... He has so many crazy abilities. Like, the dude is hard to survive against. One hit, one down. He's fast. And he can expose the survivors. See, I have a perk, my, my premonition perk. And with these within 30 meters in the direction that I'm looking, I, I get a notification. So I know he's on our trail. And I'm bleeding, so I'm not, that's why I haven't stopped running. I'm trying to get some distance so this guy can heal me. Thankfully, my teammate is still following, but, but I just realized, no, that guy was literally right on my asshole. And he's after him now. So I'm going to use him as a distraction while he's being chased. I'm going to try to go get this guy off the hook. And yeah, with, with two generators still to repair, things are not looking very bright. He's, he's really on our asses. So that other guy is about to be hung. I'm getting this guy down. Let's go! I'm hoping this person will follow me, so we can hide behind like a tree back there. I can heal her. And it turns out that other dude escaped somehow. I guess he took too long to get him to a hook. He wiggled off. So that's great news for us. And I just realized that generator there has some decent progress, which is a godsend, because... This is going to be tough. So I'm under the assumption that that person who freed himself from the grass was being chased right now because... And yeah, I fucked up. I, I fucked up. 
I'm healing her. And I feel I felt like shit about it, but it happens to us sometimes, every now and then. Okay, so I got her to help me finish this generator. That other person got downed again, and there they are. They just got hung in that basement where he was trying to take me. And honestly, this match, that was his downfall. If he hadn't tried so hard to bring us th down to that basement, this match probably would be over already. But, I don't I don't know. In my opinion, he's, he's making it a little harder on himself by doing that. Because I escaped him, and I think that other person escaped him for that same reason. And my luck just fucking sucks right here, because I, I thought... Yeah, I was freaking out. I thought for a second he was going to come right around that fucking rock and be like, Well, hello, Oscar Q. Your soul is mine. But I lucked out. Sort of. He's chasing the other person. So I'm going to use this as a chance to get that person off the hook. And as you can see, yeah, this is just kind of a cycle. And every time someone gets chased, I'm trying to take someone off the hook or finish a generator. But we just got to do one more generator. We have a chance. We have a chance here. First, I gotta. I'm gonna try and get this guy healed up. Yeah, we have a chance. That person's downed. We would not have had a chance, like I was saying, if he wasn't trying to take us all to the basement. Okay, I got this healed, and our other teammate is hooked, but he's already in the sacrifice phase, so... His minutes are limited. I'm being a little ballsy here going out in the open, but this generator at least had, like, a little bit of progress, so... I'm, I'm using it, you know? And I think my teammate, since they're not with me, I'm, I'm, I was under the assumption... And you know, you, you can see him in the distance there, uh, the killer. He's standing on that hill. He's watching the hooked guy. So yeah, I'm under the assumption our teammate went to go free the, the hooked guy. Which I'm like, nah dude, you're retarded because you're going to get yourself killed over like over like for no reason. Because this hooked guy, there's not enough time to save him. And he's being camped by the killer. So you should have just helped me finish this. We would have been done with it by now. But you know, can't expect too much out of random teammates. I just feel like everyone out there is a little... Yeah. Their, their brain cells are a little questionable. And yeah, I'm complaining about it in the background. <laughs> and he's downed. It's like I was saying. And he's basically... He's basically fucked, because... Not much I can do about it. So my mentality right now is I'm, I'm getting the fuck out of here. So I have a choice, but to go to these two exit gates. I chose this one because it's farther away from the generator I just finished repairing. And I'm doing that because I predict this guy will go for the exit gate closer to the generator I just repaired, because that's, you know, kind of like logical thinking. So I'm doing the opposite, but I just got my premonition, and I'm like, well, shit, I guess, you know, I guess not, because here he is. So he's right there, you can see his red stain, he went through that rock, so okay, he just walked away. So I'm going to assume that he's going to the other exit gate, right? Or maybe at least to check on the, the hooked guy, but no, there he is, on my fucking ass! Like, he's doing the most unpredictable shit ever, and that just happens to me all the time when I'm playing this game. All the time. And now, basically, I realize now I'm fucked. Because there's no way I'm getting away from him. And so I'm doing a desperate attempt to go save this guy. You know, maybe he'll he'll finish him off instead of chasing me. Like, that's my only hope right now. And it's, it's a skim hope. But no, he predicted what I was going to do. He's already on my ass. So I'm just running. This guy's fucked. I'm I'm not getting back there. There's no way. And I'm I'm fucked. He's right on my ass. He keeps missing. I'm just I'm using the terrain to the best of my advantage. Trying to get away from him. Run. So I'm heading towards the exit gate, but not really, because I know he's on my ass. So I have to lose them if I want to get an exit gate open. Now the hatch is open out there somewhere, but my odds of, run of running into that are not great. So I'm, I'm walking here, I'm trying to get him off, but there he is! 
Even though I'm walking, he, I guess he figured out that I would run around that. So I'm just running, I'm running, I'm trying to find a moment to lose him. Because yeah, he's still on my ass right now. Again, using the terrain that I'm seeing as best as I can. Honestly, I don't even know how I'm still alive right now. So, I know I lost the visual sight of him. He's lost line of sight, so I'm walking. I'm gonna try to backtrack him. Okay. That was my mom talking in the background. And it looks like... See, I, I thought I had him there. But he's, now he's on my footprints, so... I'm trying to walk here to lose him again. I don't know how this guy's pulling it off. Like, I fucking hate him. Like, seriously. And he's on my ass again! So I'm walking. Oh, I thought I was gonna walk. Never mind. I'm still running. I'm going back for this area. This little area here is my best chance because of all the walls and the ceiling and stuff. Of, of, of losing line of sight. So I'm gonna head towards the exit gate now. But what's that fucking sound? Holy fucking shit, it's the escape hatch. I fucking did it! Lost your fucking cue! I did that shit, son. <sighs> it was intense as hell, dude. Like, I really thought I was screwed there. I got gold in all categories. I outplayed that dude, you know, he was on my ass the whole time and he could not get me. And there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Oscar Q, out.